Good afternoon, my crafty friends. This is Debbie with DRM Market. Oh, excuse me. Um, I don't know what number this is. I'll have to go and check the other videos that I've done. Um, it might be 13. I'm not sure. Um, I kind of lost track there. Okay, this is, um, again, the mini uh, journal Christmas tree ornament. And um, these are available in my Etsy shop. Just want to let you know, and I'm running a sale from August 25th through September 24th for 50% off. Okay, I got that spill out. <laughs> okay. Um, this is some green. Uh, it's, it's a little heavier than paper, but not quite as heavy as cardstock. So I thought uh, maybe a solid, I, I like this plaid, and I think it, the plaid actually looks better with the solid background. And this is my mom when she was young. I'm assuming she has a red coat on because um, my grandmother used to tell me she always put her in red. So she has a really happy look on her face. I don't know if you can see that very well. Okay, um, oh, this is the paper pad. This was given to me at Stamp Up. So, these are like, what, six by six. I have several, they're um, both sides. It's kind of a cool little pack. There's no date on here, but I think it's fairly old. I don't think it's new at all. So, but anyway. There we go. There's that. And my little photo. I'm just going to set this stuff aside just so I can get uh, some measurements over here. This green is not Christmas green. Um, I don't know. What do we call it? Like a sage green, I'm going to say. I mean, this doesn't have to be Christmas, even though call it a Christmas ornament. I think you could leave it out all year. I don't think it necessarily has to be put away. Let's see here. Kind of get semi-straight. <laughs> kind of get some jagged edges over here. Seems like I'm always creating uh, <laughs> scraps. <laughs> you guys feel that way? You're always creating scraps. Seems like it to me. Okay. Straight as I can get it. Okay, is that going? That might be too close. Yeah, we want a little room in there to turn the page. Let's see, I wonder if the other side will it matter? Oh yeah, it won't matter. Just a tiny bit out. Yeah, that won't matter at all. Okay, let's go ahead and get some, um, you know, I think I am going to use the liquid glue for this. That paper is a little bit heavier. Like I said, it's not as heavy as this cardstock in here, but it is on, a little bit on the heavy side. So if you guys are enjoying these, I know they're short. There's not just, the pages are small, so I mean, you can probably do this quicker than me because I'm trying to you know, have a full-on conversation here, so. I mean, you can add pockets if you'd like. I think there are pockets in here, if I'm not mistaken. Well, oh, you know what? I didn't put pockets in this one, but the ones that I am selling do have pockets. So, um, yeah. I think I was like, wait, did it do pockets? There's not that many in there, but it is in the listing. It, it describes everything. How many pockets and um, tags. So I'll uh, definitely link that for you. Oh my, I just got glue all over myself. My hands. Okay, just pull that away a little bit. I don't want that. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, I am walking away. I need a paper towel. I'm not sure why I don't have paper towels, but. Okay, I know, just 
dry paper towel. Get that rubbed off. And I probably got glue on the other side, but thank goodness that this dries clear. <laughs> Went too close to the edge. Okay, let me get that wiped off. I just, you can see just a tad bit over here, and it doesn't matter. Now, I have some white going around, but I think I'm just going to leave it. I don't think that matters. Make sure that glue is pressed all around, not in lumps and bumps. Okay. Let's see here. I'll just clip that so that it'll hold open a little bit. And like I said, I really like this. Just... Oh, look at the top. How cute is that? And I'll cut it, and then I can just fray it a little bit on the bottom. A little bit on the bottom. Let's see. I'll just run this down a little bit. More has to be like padded in place. Like there's not going to be a lot showing that picture. You know, those photos do take up a lot of room. And then if you did see the other um, one before this, I did um, put a coat of my homemade uh, decoupage on here just to give it a little bit of a sheen. Oh, I like that. That's so cute. I think my mom's pretty cute, though. Pretty. <laughs> Let's see. Do we want to add any of these? I think these need some color. Well, that one looks cute, though, even though it's white. Hangs off just a little bit. And then I'll put, like, a little... Christmas stamp down here. It's actually kind of um, has a little bit of paint on it. That's when my paint went a little haywire. <laughs> well, you have to cover everything up when you're doing splatter paint. So. And I didn't. So now a lot of my stuff has splatter paint all over it. Look at the glue bottle. Okay, I think we're going to go down just a little bit. Try to give it all as much interest as possible. This, this just helps spread the glue around. That's why I rub this. I don't know, do you guys rub your images or paper? And then it it just kind of it spreads it out without, you know, damaging the photo or the image, whatever you have underneath. So I like this. This is a little bit frayed. I'm liking that a lot. Save that for something else. Oh, you know what? Maybe I won't use a postage stamp. I, I did this. Be your beautiful self. I'll trim that down just a little bit, just the... This is the same uh, cardstock that I used for my um, cutouts. Let's see, maybe at the top, that seems like there's more room at the top. I kind of like this, the way this flower kind of went on the side there. And we can go... And we'll go right over it. I like that. And then we'll look for a stamp. Oh, this was back on an index card. It has those <laughs> it has the lines of the index card. Okay, this gets a little tricky here. Just kind of dab on a little bit of glue.
Oops. And I'll try clear, just dab it a little bit. Oh, you know, there is some other paint on there. I thought it looked like dirt, but that does look kind of weird. Oh, well. Uh, maybe I'll round the corners on this, too, if I can. Kind of small in there. There we go. It worked. Okay. I kind of just doing the same thing I realized decorating this just um, I just kind of trying to use different things but I am using I am doing photo so it's kind of like a um, an ancestry thing because I will put the names and the ages on the other side. I haven't done that yet. I Some of them I did, um, I put a spot, like a, I glued a piece of paper to, for that to happen. Uh, I was gonna show you, let's see. <laughs> Oops, glue and pages together. Let's see, I don't think it's that one, okay. Boy, that has a bunch of glue on it for some reason. Like over here, like something like this, I'll just glue it on just so you have something to write on. Now these, I could I could put a little label on here just to say who these who they are. But like this one, I can do put a bigger label just to you know write a little bit about them. Like here, I put this. Um, Carlo Quinn pattern over here. So, yeah. So, I'll go ahead and continue to do that. And then, um, yeah. Now, where, where's my page? Oh, there we are. <laughs> I'm trying not to glue pages together here. Okay. I think I'm going to use some more of this. I, I like that plaid on there. It looks cute. Now we got Christmas stickers. These are those vintage ones. Let's see, we're just trying to find something just to put on here. Just add a little extra. It's green, not the right color green. Some stocking. Some of these are really big. Those are some can't. Oh, that one's really big. Okay, so I know that's too big. There's some cute little angels on there. Or kids, I guess, maybe not angels. Oh, it seems like I always get... <laughs> slow down when I'm trying to pick stuff out. You know, she does like snowmen. I wonder if I darken that up, if that would look okay. You know, I know it looks kind of like cheesy, but I am going to put that on there. I think I'm going to fussy cut the white off that's around it. So, do we have a little scissors over here? Nope. So it's the big scissors. But I think this is okay. I don't think that I should have too much of a problem just getting some, rid of some of the white. I think that'll help out with it. Maybe like looks like it's supposed to be there. 
She used to have a collection of snowmen. She slowly started getting rid of stuff though. Just she doesn't want want us to have to her kids to go through and have a bunch of stuff to get rid of. So yeah, that's always the sad part with you know parents that we you know, love and are still in contact with. And I know everybody doesn't have that relationship with their parents, so, and I, there's no judgment. I was just lucky enough to have a mom that I do have that relationship with. Or, you know, you could have like a, um, maybe your aunt or somebody like that. Maybe it just, you know, everybody's different. And here we go again with that sticker. Is it just me <laughs> with stickers? <laughs> it's like I always have to get, I feel like I'm having to do surgery here to get this off. There we go. And it's not just these stickers, it's all stickers. Okay, I think that looks a lot better. Let's see, high or low? Maybe a little bit high on the page. There we go. Okay, you guys, there we go. I'll bring it up to the camera, show you, and hopefully none of my pages are too stuck together. And there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Maybe get some ideas for your own journal. And thanks so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.